street, damn it. topics or anything but today I want to talk about curses and when I say curses I mean do you ever feel like an uh, like a certain object brings you bad luck when you touch it or use it kind of thing now my ex my recent experience with this uh, is at work I was working the grill and basically it gets covered in barbecue sauce which is full of sugar and the sugar burns and turns into like a black um, char yeah it's like black char that like gets in the grill and you don't want all that on the ribs and the burgers and shit so you take your little spatula and you start smacking it off the bars because it's not a flat top grill and I got one Smack the shit off, and then you pull out the little wire brush to get all the little shit, <clears throat> and then you wipe off your spatula. So I'm in the process of smacking this motherfucker <laughs> with the spatula. Just scraping it up and down the bars, done it hundreds of times before, and I guess I had to happen one time. But as I was scraping, a little piece of solidified burnt black barbecue flies off the grill and straight into my right eye. Now, what's the grill? Like 500 degrees or some shit? I don't even know. I want to say 450. <clears throat> so that's about how hot that piece of uh, ash was. More like a shard. Flies into my eye, still burning. I close my eye, obviously, as a reflex, you know, like, what the fuck? And my eye, it gets pinched in the, the corner of my eye closest to my nose. So my eyes wrapped around it as it's still burning inside, and the water in my eyes is starting to slowly, you know, quench the fire. My other eye closed as well as a reflex. So I'm like trying to see through fucking tears basically, make my way over to the sink so I can start washing it out. Finally got there, started washing out, and by this time it was cool. And I start picking at my eye and get this little fucking chunk out. And it's a good millimeter big, like long and like half a millimeter wide. And that's fucking big for your eye, goddammit. So I got that out and that was just the first part. About one day later, I hadn't touched the grill since because I was like, fuck that piece of shit. <clears throat> so the next time I work that fucking grill, I'm scraping it again. And oh, what the fuck happened? Somebody uh, dropped a rib with the tongs, like to reheat it onto my grill. And the fucking sauce from the rib shot straight into my left eye. And it didn't get in my eye this time, it just fucking uh, hit the top of my eyelid. And now there's a fucking bloody ass scab there that won't heal because it's on my fucking eyelid <coughs> that I blink with. I've since gone back and worked the grill and nothing's happened yet, but do you ever feel like shit like that gets cursed on you, you know? And then, uh, I don't know if it's considered cursed, so it's kind of off subject, but I don't fucking do topics anyway, so it doesn't matter. The other night, when I was out filming with Ibn, I get a call from Jamie and our fucking downstairs neighbor's dog uh, bit her. Can you fucking believe that shit? So, it's like, I want to say it's like a mix Jack Russell some shit little ankle biter and literally ankle biter because that's where it bit her. The back of her left leg she's got three puncture wounds and a bad bruise. The way 
had to fucking call the cops on the neighbors, get a report filed in case we decided to sue. And they got fined for, um, I don't remember what it's called. Something about having not having a dog on the leash. Because she was walking it without a leash. Jamie's innocently going to walk up the stairs and the dog starts to run after and the owner yells at it. And then it fucking bites her. because this one's stretching way the fuck out. Now we're going to Cali at the end of the week, you guys! Oh my god! It's so exciting! Oh, I got the new back tire, got thicker oil, bike runs very nice. I'm ready for the trip. I can't believe how many people have, I mean, I haven't talked to anybody. It's all him and he's a little social butterfly. And I have to obviously thank him for, he's actually a big part of how fast my channel's grown and all the people that I've met. I wouldn't have done half the stuff I've done in the last few months if I hadn't met him. So thank you, Ibn. You little shit. Ah, uh, you know what we need to do? Motor vlogging keeps getting bigger and bigger, and I don't see it really going anywhere because everyone loves bikes. Everyone's like talking to people. Everyone wants to be fucking famous. You know what we need? We need a goddamn motor vlogger day. We need a holiday for motor vloggers. You know? Why don't we have that? Let's make that. Everyone put in the comments of what day you think Motor Vlog Day should be on. And then we're just gonna do it. I'm gonna start telling everybody and then it'll just be a thing. And then every year on Motor Vlogging Day, every Motor Vlogger will make a video about Motor Vlogging Day. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. I wanna invent Motor Vlogging Day. If no one leaves a comment down below, I'm just gonna pick a day. So, yeah. It obviously can't be on a day with uh, any other holiday. And I don't think it should be in winter time because then not every motor vlogger can do it. I think it should be in fall. Not too hot so more, vlog more vloggers are actually out. The ones that are scared of the heat can come out and the ones that can't ride in the snow can still ride. So in that sense, uh, motor vlogging day is coming up. Everyone put your date down below. If we have more than one person saying the same date, I'm just gonna make it that. I'll make a video about the whole thing. With your help, my dream can be realized. Mini Motor Monday will be coming back as soon as I can get the bike fixed, guys. I know that's what you really wanna see and nobody gives a shit about this normal mode of vlogging crap. You know who you are. If it doesn't say pit bike on it, you ain't watching it. And I can say that because they're not gonna watch this. As soon as I get my pit bike fixed, upon request, I'll be doing a wheelie tutorial. I haven't had very many hours on the pit bike, so I can't fucking actually ride good wheelies, but I can show you how to start practicing wheelies. I'll get that done. Probably when I get back from Cali. Uh, there will be new pit bikes coming in the future. I say bikes with an S because I'll probably buy more than one. 
Uh, after I move out of my expensive apartment and uh, start preparing to go to school, I'll have no bills. So I'm going to uh, be saving most of my money for a new bike. Uh, not that I really need one, but I kind of want a newer one. And um, besides the new bike, I'll be buying pit bikes and doing videos and stuff. And uh, I'll even get one that's registered. So I can ride on the street. I'll talk to you bitches later.